Your next trip to buy distilled spirits could be different if a proposed bill in the Senate is passed. WNCT's Elizabeth Tu explains how this bill could impact distilleries and the amount of alcohol you buy. At Walton's Distillery in Onslow County, you'll find spirits from whiskey to moonshine. It's just one of the many in North Carolina that would be impacted by Senate Bill 155, which would overturn what's known as the one bottle law. Currently, each visitor to a distillery can buy a single bottle every 12 months. Well, all this money is infused back in this community, back in the state for the state to bind us and, and other distillers by this one bottle law. So, you know, it's, it's really tough. Customers are referred to a local ABC store if they want to buy more. The bill would increase purchase limits from one bottle to five, which means the next time you visit your local distillery, you don't have to choose between all of these products. You could get as many as five. Not uncommon for someone coming in to want to buy one of each of your products or maybe buy an extra bottle for a friend or family member. Senator Rick Gunn sponsored the bill. He said in a statement that it strikes a balance of our growing NC economy and allows our local distilleries, craft breweries, and wineries to grow their businesses, create jobs, and increase tax revenue. If passed, the bill would also allow distilleries to conduct tastings at events. Distiller Philip O'Hara owns the Diablo Distillery in Jacksonville. He's in the process of redoing part of his shop to include a tasting area. So once we start doing more tours and allow more people to uh, really that we're here and we're making it in North Carolina and hopefully buy more of the product. O'Hara bottles his product by hand and says the new law would increase tours at his business. In Onslow County, Elizabeth to you, not on your side. The bill would also allow restaurants to sell alcohol starting at noon on Sunday mornings.